the bull elk sounds the bugle. He shakes his whole body to make the sound resonate through the hills. Elk's bugling signals mating season. The bugling elk also signals the start of New Mexico's elk survey, which coincides with the rutting season that begins in the fall. We've counted roughly a thousand elk so far up in this area today. This is one of the state's biggest herds and it's located in the Sargent Wildlife Management Area just north of Chama. It looks really good. We've seen we've seen some nice mature bulls being our harem bulls. We've seen a decent bull to cow ratio, a good calf to cow ratio. Overall, it's looking like this herd's pretty healthy, pretty strong in numbers. So far, the count is a snapshot of the north central herd, which has upwards of 15 to 20,000 elk. The peak of the rut is on. Um, the, the bulls are really, really swinging into it. 95% of the cows are expected to become pregnant with calves that will be born in the spring, and that takes about nine months. The majority of the counting is done from the air using a helicopter flying in patterns, swooping over hills and into valleys where elk are known to gather. We know what a breeding bull looks like. We want an older age class breeding bull where he's a nice mature six by six, five, six, seven, eight year old bull, maybe even a 10 year old bull, carrying a harem of cows and calves. And those cows and calves may number upwards of 20 cows for one bull, or it may be as small as five. And we really want to know how many bulls per 100 cows do we have? And how many calves per 100 cows do we have to see that kind of health and functioning of that herd and the status of what our elk herds look like throughout the state of New Mexico. To get an accurate count, it's important to understand the elk's breeding cycle. Right now is when the breeding season goes on. Males come in and form, actively defend and group together cows and form their little harems and they'll protect them until he breeds all the cows in that. Then you have the younger two-year-old, three-year-old, and even one-and-a-half-year-old bulls. They're trying to sneak in and steal some cows away from his harem, but that bull will actively defend it, so much so that he may lose up to 20% of his body weight in the four weeks that he's defending that harem. The bulls eat very little during this time, and when the breeding is through, they take off and form post-rut bachelor groups to get some rest and wait for spring to bulk up and start the cycle all over again. The cows form their own very large groups that can be over a thousand elk. Then in spring, female elk go off on their own to give birth. She has that calf right around the first of June. That calf in its first 10 days of life or so remains basically motionless. It only moves when mom moves it and it only moves to groom for grooming and nursing bouts. A few weeks later is a great time to see the calves romping in their own nursery groups. So it's a group of upwards of a hundred of just cows and calves running around enjoying life on summer forage, really tanking up, getting ready for the fall breeding season to start all over again. The best time of day to see elk is at first light or at dusk. That's when they're the most active. By imitating the elk calls, you can convince them to come in closer. Cows and calves talk year round to identify who's mom and who's baby. And they use these calls every day, every, every few minutes, and they vocalize back and forth to each other. So hunters could really utilize and bank on that is by using little calls, calf squeals, lost calf squeals, or mom calls to back to it to call in herds of calves, cows, and potentially call in that big bull sometimes. And Nabor Lake is a great place for elk. It's secluded, surrounded by oak brush, aspen, and pine trees, and elk love the water. Elk are one of New Mexico's biggest success stories. They were pushed to extinction at the turn of the 20th century. Now, the elk are back in force. My ultimate goal is to make the most satisfactory hunting, hunting experience for people um, that utilize wildlife through New Mexico, not only just hunters but photographers and everything. We want a healthy herd that promotes hunting, wildlife watching, viewing, and being able, it's fortunate that people can come out here, sit right where we're standing today and watch some rutting bulls during the mating season. You know, it's a very unique opportunity.